Friday, a pleasant good afternoon to each and every one of you. As you might be aware that Guyana right now in a very big problem with Venezuela over the territory on the Essequibo coast. For, for 50 years of our independence, we'd be hearing this cry from the Perez government all the way to Chavez, all the way now to President Maduro. One have to respect the fact that boundaries was written by Spain, England, and America who involved as, a, as someone to see things wrong, but sometimes make a lot of mistakes. Where did the mistake created from? How we created only God knows, and they, who do it knows? But giving children from Spain and children from England or children from any other European continent or Africa or India that, that migrate into this hemisphere, I don't think we have much decision to claim country that we are all not a part of, but was fortunate to born there because of our ancestors who came there as slaves. The Spanish came there without their will, which is Spain bring the people there that we have them as Latino, South Americans, Central Americans, and Guyana, the same thing with East Indian, Black, Portuguese, Chinese, who create the fifth phrase called the double race, the cosmopolitan, and the native Indian, of course, as we call the Amerindian, or Buck Man, or Buck Woman, as we always phrase it is, as a Creole way of talking, not in a matter of a provocative way. But when we was granted independence in 1966, under the late Carl Bernard, we as citizens of the country have all right to defend our country from any foreign invaders. Yes, and that is the right of every citizen, man, woman, child, or whoever, that is the right and loyalty for a citizen to do for their country. But when we had leaders like Carl Bernard, that use racism, bullyism to rule a country with other races, where racism spread along the border, causes other races such as the East Indian to flee to Venezuela. Hundred and something thousand living there right now, and flee on the eastern border to Suriname. We have sixty something thousand living there. How can we ask these people to stand up to fight for Guyana when they go with a long story, sad story, from one to a hundred? 80% of the story is true. Blacks was given full power. They take advantage of the Indian race and other races, by the way. The military, the police force, the civil service, almost 98% of them. And Burnham in control. But when we get rid of Burnham now, high to the PNC, and we elect the PPP leader, Dr. J. Gunn, we have seen a lot of changes also. When Barra take over, the same nonsense started to happen. We are Indians now, who back the PPP started to own the land, buy it out, family and friends control. So we ask a question. Will you, as a Guyanese, be patriotic in front to defend a country where you was not given justice? Will corrupt lawyers and judges deny you justice when others lie on you? A corrupt businessman, people fighting you for your own property, surveyor, a line, the court take bribe, judges take bribe, lawyers bribe them, and you lose your rights. Now, if a country like Venezuela, Sarnon, French Guyana, or even little Trinidad try to invade Guyana, you being the victim in your own country where you was denied justice, will you defend it? How patriotic are you to know, and I'm going to be blunt here, to know you are fighting for the fucking bastards them that already lock you up innocently. You are fighting for them who deny you fucking justice from your own country, that you are paying tax and have your boundary. This is Guyana, man. It don't belong to Kuli, nor black, Portuguese, or Chinese. The Douglas race get off with the Amerindian because the Douglas born there. But my argument is it's only Kuli and black people fighting for this place. And if a war declared, even if it was running good, the Kuli would have run away because y'all are not fighters. Y'all just troublemakers. So I'm telling you this here today, you might call it treason, but let treason be with a reason. And no black man, and I repeat, no black man in Colleen Guyana could charge George Coraya for treason. I can't go to India and Africa. I have no other country but Guyana, but I'm speaking about your fucking behavior, your attitude. You think I must go with you to fight Venezuela to protect this land? When a hundred and something thousand people leave this place and run away because of black leadership and corruption and destruction? Or do you think I must support the PPP if they're in power to fight for this country? 
when friends and family own everything and corrupt judges lock up innocent people who speak out against them? Get your fucking ass together. Get real. Is that treason? Anybody commit a crime here is the niggas who rule the country and the coli. Y'all are worse than the pirate that robbed the fucking people on the fleet in the ocean. So therefore, we got a problem. If you want me to fight for this country, I want justice. I want judges who deny me their rights to be charged for the crime they commit against me, and I want their head. Same goes to the lawyer. And if it leads to politician that had any influence to lock my son up or me or anybody for me, I want their fucking head too, or the children would. That's the only way we can free this country. You cannot lock me up innocently, kill my father, rape my sister or my mother or my aunt and want me to defend you. When another country coming to kick your ass, I will join with your enemy to fuck you up. Because I don't need land, I need justice. That's my opinion. Now, you black people of Africa, you love Mandela, you have side piece of all over Guyana. Free Africa, and you're right. And you Indian do the same for Gandhi and India. Even though to now you're playing music, you don't even understand the fucking meaning. But you come into a country to divide it the way you divide Pakistan and India. But you want Bokman to fight for your country. You all talk about human rights, especially you, the black people. Where is your human rights you talk about? The white man exploit you, enslave you. Are you fucking bastards not ashamed to see what you're doing to the Amer Indian? His fucking country, nigga. Wake the fuck up. It's his country. Do you think a black man will join with you? to kick Jose, Hector, or maybe Chavez, when you part up Ganganin, Allen, and Smith, and Thomas fuck him up? Come on, man, wake the fuck up. Y'all don't know what you're playing with. To love and save Guyana, we must be loving to each other. That's the only way this country can show progress. Stamp out the racism. You are not Africans. You are the descendant of them. They sold you to the European as slaves. And you, Kuli, is not Indians. You are Guyanese also, who born there. You're supposed to love the country. Get rid of the fucking Indian shit and start to do the right thing. Then this country can go forward. It is the rights of a citizen to fight for their country. But you cannot deny me justice and want me to fight for it. The police locking you up innocently, making charge, especially Providence. Grow. Break down and plenty of your criminals and the army. So when criminals meet with real patriotic people fighting for their country, the best thing we can do is sit over see who get killed and rejoice. That's my opinion. But if you want to save this fucking country, change the law. As George Correa telling you, give me justice for my land that I be paying tax for where my transport and my plan identify my spot, but because of a coolie fighting me, and coolie judge and lawyer, and the politician who I don't like them as speaker, they deny me justice. These Spanish people in deny me nothing yet. But yet they open up the border to 100,000 Guyanese coolie people living in these places. And listen, they make 40 something thousand children born there from more than time to now. They are the ones that can put in on the uniform to kick your ass and listen to the message. Them coolies say, Abby, run away from Guyana because the black man gonna kill Abby and rape Abby. So them children come in with that revenge. And here the next thing, that land is my land, the Venezuelan tell them. So the two revenge, land is them own and revenge gonna be worse than if they claim the land because they're gonna annihilate your ass. You don't have the firing power against the Venezuelan. The only thing to defeat the Venezuelan, you niggas and coolies, is to elect an Amerindian and put him as head of his country and then he will cause problem in Venezuela, Brazil, and elsewhere. Because those natives go want to be like him. But if you want to come from Timbuktu as a Zulu chief into Guyana with chain on your fucking foot, and want to be king in a country don't belong to you originally, then you got a fucking problem. Can a black man or Chinese go any part in Africa and become a president? Answer your question, man. Or can a Pakistani go into India and become prime minister? Or an Indian leave uh, India into Pakistani to be prime minister? Same people, same language, only difference by religion. But Guyana, our difference is by color. And citizenship is very important. So my friend, the only true Guyanese you have is the Amerindian, the Douglas, 
All other four identify where they're from. But why the Portuguese and Chinese get up? They do not fight for countries, only between the Kodi and the black man. Why? I'm a part of you. I love Guyana. I'll give my life for it. But I won't take your bullshit. Clean up your act, David Granger. Give me justice and I'll die alongside of you for my country.